one of the other things that I found uh, interesting when people were talking about this is they said uh, a lot of times people uh, say, well, I saw flashing lights in the sky. That's kind of the classic UFO story. You know, I saw lights mm. in the sky. Yeah. And one of the, uh, during the, uh, the NASA uh, video, they were talking about how we use flashing lights. Mm -hmm. We use flashing lights to get noticed. You put flashing lights on radio towers. Mm -hmm. You put flashing lights on tall buildings. That way, airplanes can see them, and they don't accidentally hit them in the night. Yeah. We put flashing lights on aircraft so that we know um, that it's there, um, so that other aircraft know that it's there, mm -hmm. so that they don't get too close to each other, so that there is a level of redundancy past just like radar and things like that. Yeah. But now military jets... Mm -hmm. When they go in to do an operation or a mission, yeah. they turn yeah. their flashing lights off because yeah. <laughs> they do not want to yeah. be seen. Yeah. They want to get in, do their job, and mm. get out. Yeah. And the safest way is to not announce your, mm. air, your, your position. Yeah. <laughs> so if flashing lights are to announce your position, then what type of evidence is it that we're looking at some type of intelligence being mm -hmm. that's flashing lights yeah if they wanted to keep themselves so secret you know right. to meet out in a cornfield or something mm -hmm. because they're trying to do this in secret yeah why the flashing lights yeah why any lights at all yeah and and the other thing too is is uh why lights like you know just because we have lights does it mean that another civilization has lights? Is that like a ridiculous? Wait, thing are you to think saying like, that because um, aliens, if they are aliens, mm -hmm. um, they could be nothing like us? Exactly. So you're saying mm -hmm. if we have lights, then why would they have lights? I guess that's possible. Mm -hmm. Although I will say, you know, light is emitted from stars, so mm -hmm. it could be a natural thing that life develops some type of detector for mm -hmm. what we consider visible light. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. then they could engineer their own lights to have lights at night and things, but, yeah. um, but nothing if, like, says that that is the yeah, case. Yeah. I mean, didn't like the uh, predator uh, have multiple ways to... He, he vision, saw um, you know? infrared light yeah. so he could see heat. Yeah, yeah. Which is mm, pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's actually yeah. the same way that those three videos we looked at in the mm -hmm. beginning yeah. and during part one, um, what was it? The Tic Tac or Fleer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Gimbal and Go Fast. Yeah. Um, those were all done with Fleer cameras, which is infrared cameras. Right. So they were just... Those weren't even images of the craft or the incident per mm -hmm. se as much as they were graphical representations of heat yeah but yeah the predator could do that because you yeah, yeah. see it like through a thin wall and <laughs> yeah. stuff yeah i just find it interesting too that like uh you know we, we have our you know technology and everything on our planet but who's to say that you know aliens will have the same they may have no need for things that we have you know sure you know so i understand like you know light is a thing but maybe their spacecrafts don't have a flashing light or, you know, any well, type and, of... And you know what? In, in yeah. uh, to, to counteract what I said before about flashing lights as our level yeah. of saying, hey, here I am, right. don't hit me. Um, to them, flashing lights could be something else and right. they might not have any idea that yeah. we can see them. Right, right. You know, maybe they mainly communicate through smell or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's a good yeah. point you got. Yeah. <laughs>